All right. We are about set to go here from Grinnell Gymnasium. This is a battle of number seven versus number two. The winner of this game gets the winner of Southwick Lennox in this building, if it happens to be Frontier, on Wednesday night. So the Hawks, familiar territory for them, Joe Thompson. They're often in the postseason. They're often in the discussion for a state championship. There was some thought that maybe this year that would be a tall order, but you know, when these guys get to this point in the season, they tend to turn it to a little different level, it seems like. Oh, yeah. And we'll see if they're able to do that tonight. So the Hawks ended the regular season with a record of 12 and 8. East Hampton 13 and 6. And we are about set to go here in Frontier. It appears we'll start off with the serve. And it's going to be Jalen Sullivan, the captain, one of the captains of this team, to serve it up again. First team to win three games out of five advances to the semifinal round. And East Hampton's able to keep it in play. Sullivan is set to Rosewall and a spike. Return nicely and tipped at the net. And it's a point for Frontier. Again, good net play. And that was Olivia Dean at the net making that point. Sullivan to serve again. Yep, a little long. They're all tied at one. And East Hampton will start it off with Skylar Rakevitz to serve it up for the Eagles. Net. Into the net. Not how you want to start off your serving not, game there, Chris. Not at all. Now Riley Isler, wearing the number 10, will serve it up. Frontier leads 2-1, opening of game one. Ooh, Just that was a tough really serve. Nice. Rose Warren to Isler. The set is spiked by Dean, hits the net. Just not enough elevation there, I don't think, for Olivia. So we're tied at two. And it's going to be Maddie Parrish, Jr., for East Hampton to serve. Out. Out of bounds. There's too much air under that one, Joe. Absolutely. Quick substitution, Rose Warren out. Into the game is new for Frontier. It's gonna be Sydney Scanlon to serve for the Red Hawks. Deep serve. Is there to Scanlon, the Dean. Good, good spike there. That'll be point frontier. Scanlon to serve it again for the Hawks. Leading 4-2. Ace. Yes, and that one looked like it was headed long, Joe, but uh, she decided to try to play it. Yeah. Perhaps it would have gone long. We don't know. 5-2 Frontier, Scanlon to serve again. Another tough knuckling serve. Point Frontier. I guess we scored that one an ace, right? And it was never returned. Yep. Scanlon to serve it again for the Hawks. Turned by East Hampton. Isler set to Scanlon. Spiked by Dean. Good. Point. Yeah, and again there, Chris, on the serve, it looked like it might have gone long. It did, but that was just textbook mid-court play by Frontier, what they've been doing all along. Yeah, Sending we'll it for Dean. Dean for the final slam ball. Dean very good here to start things off. Scanlon has 
got five consecutive service points here. Another tough low serve. That's going to be an ace. So Sid Scanlon's on fire in game one, eight, two. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. Frontier blowing it open in game one. The Hawks eight, East Hampton two. This is quarterfinal action. The Western Mass Division Three Volleyball Tournament. Frontier in the access Television. All right, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Joe Thompson with Chris Collins. Uh, Frontier leading East Hampton early 8-2 uh, in the quarterfinals here for the Volleyball Western Mass bracket. Here's a serve by Scanlon. Return into the net by Allison Gardner. Looked like Julian Appenell had that ready to be blocked, but they oh, couldn't break yeah. up the elevation on it. And here's Scanlon again with service. And out of bounds. Well, Scanlon really is serving the heck out of the ball, Joe. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely. Really been tough for East Hampton to return a lot of this stuff. 10 2. Saved by Scanlon. Return out of bounds. Frontier point. It's been all frontier in this first game. Sure has. Well, coming in seven against the two may be a bit of a mismatch, but East Hampton's pretty competitive. We'll see if they can make a comeback here. We will. And here's the set, the spike. Hit up Dean with the hit. And Appenel gets the kill. Yep, Jill just had enough to get it over the top of that net and made the point happen. So 10 unanswered points by the Hawks here. Another good serve by Scanlon. Oh! And uh, Chris, that, that, there's been a few where she yeah. served it. It looks like it's going out and then East Hampton hits it up. And yeah, I don't know why you bother playing that ball. That one's headed out. But. Almost certainly. Nice low serve there, and it'll be Frontier Point. I'll tell you, the, the real the server on this team that's really the one to watch is Dean, but right now Scanlon's just serving the heck out of the ball. Lighting it's crazy. It up. And here goes Scanlon again. And out of bounds, Frontier Point. Been a lot of aces by Scanlon here. Yeah, I got a sub coming in quick. Check into the game for the first time is Fournier for East Hampton, trying to get some different personnel in there, get an answer here. Let's see what they can do. Scanlon again, it's a nice low serve. Appenau with the tip, and Frontier Point. All Hawks becoming a boat race here. Scanlon to serve. And back in the hands of East Hampton for the first time in 14 scores. Well, Appenau did a good job trying to get that block at the net, but East Hampton player just got the better of her, so that was an important service break for East Hampton. Yes. And here is Bryce Nelson with the serve. Just low over the net. Oh. Dean with the spike, but it's hit back up. And here's the spike over the net, Sullivan. Dean. And it'll be Frontier Point once again. East Hampton did a good job even to return that smash by Dean at the net. That was just. For sure, yeah. I mean, almost. Good save there. By, uh, unstoppable. And speaking of Dean, she's now going to serve. Dean with the leader in aces for Frontier. And out of bounds, it looks like. Yes. So just back and out. forth here. Well, she did a good job to angle that ball, but just a little bit too far out. Served by East Hampton. Scanlon hits it over the net. And Appenel hits it back. Sullivan saves it. Now Sullivan to Spike. And that looks like a mishandle there. Yep. Frontier point. 
18-4. Wow. I got to say, the seed difference is showing here in game one. Absolutely. Well, like we said, this team goes to a different level in the playoffs, and they certainly seem to be going there tonight. Mm. Just low over the net. Wow. An incredible return there, and that was going out. That was going out. Wow. I can't believe he sent to return that ball. That was almost the perfect serve. Well done by the Eagles. 18-5. Yeah, that's, that is a well-deserved well point right there. Four near to serve. Was it blocked there, Chris? I yep, tell. it was. Is the return to oh. oh, my. Good That's job by Rowley. Communication. Totally was. I don't think anybody expected the ball to land there. It's ironic how well we can uh, return all those hard hits. And then when a nice little soft one comes over. Rose Warren to serve now for the Hawks, leading 19-5. Low serve over the net and a return by East Hampton. Dulette with the spike. And Isla with the dig. Dean over the net. Nope. And there's Dean. And that is out of bounds. I think if Olivia had that to do over again, she would have let that one go. That was headed out. But yes. Point East Hampton. 19 6. And here is Kaylee Powers to serve for the Eagles. Dean can't get it up. Eagle point. I don't think, I think that that one kind of handcuffed Olivia a little bit. I believe those are the first consecutive points for the Eagles all night. It is. It was. And here, the Eagles. And I'm going to say it was a touch on the net, I think. Frontier. Yeah, frontier point. Yep. Frontier point. Hawks lead by 13 here, and Sullivan to serve. Good serve there. He's handing it over the net. Dean with the perfect spike. Yeah. No Unreturnable. Way, no way you're going to stop that. That's, no. just, that's just perfect timing. 21-7. This is all frontier in this first game. And here is Sullivan. Out of bounds. 21-8. Again, the winner of this game gets Southwick Lennox winner on Wednesday night. Here is Skylar Raskovitz to serve for the Eagles. Oh, they serve there. Let blocked at the net, and that will be an East Hampton score. Good net play there. That was Forney who made that happen. 21 9. Here's Raskovitz once again. And over the net by Dulette for the Hawks and East Hampton. Over the net. Dean with the spike deflected. Uh, by Dulette. Polsky can't get it over. Yeah, that was a tough break. Just did not quite time that jump well enough. Nope. Sometimes happens. So East Hampton making a bit of a run here. Yes. Raskovitz, her third serve in a row. Keep over the net. East Hampton. And... Can't get it over. Good try by Riley there. Tried to keep that in, in play. 
just couldn't quite make it happen. So the East Hampton fans getting pumped up as they once again will serve. Here's Raskovitz. Nice low serve. Dean, that will be returned. And Raskowitz doing an excellent job deflecting Dean's strikes. But East Hampton will give up the serve here as Frontier gets their 22nd point of the evening. So Riley Isler will serve. 22-11 is the score. A little rally by East Hampton, but still Frontier with a big lead. Yes. Here's Isler. Beautiful serve. And looks like... Evans will check in for Dean. You see how going to call time. Oh, okay. We'll keep it here as uh, the Eagles try and talk it over. They are trail 23 to 11. Frontier two points away from winning game one again. The first team to win three out of five advances to the next round. And then following Wednesday's semifinals, assuming Frontier can get that far, the, of course, finals will be this Saturday at West Springfield High School. So we'll see uh, if Frontier still going to get by East Hampton and they got to get by one more opponent before they think about a Western Mass final. And if they can get past the Western Mass finals, obviously they're always going to be in a conversation for a state final. They've won a few of them here. And what's been a tremendous program uh, run by their a very famous coach. Was been a huge, huge guy in volleyball in Western Mass, not just here, but also in Athol as well. Bradley Isler to serve it. Here are the Eagles covering for the serve. Appenel with the dig. Evans spike rejected. And Evans will spike it again, just out. Good net play there by East Hampton to block that. It was. And here's the serve by Maddie Parrish of East Hampton. Ooh, Mizzler with a nice dig there. And Appenel hits it over. Here's the spike. Appenel with the hit. Nice hit there by Appenel. Well placed by Appenel. Put them where they aren't. That's, that's what she did. Very so we got game point here. Yes, we do. And New and Scanlon will check in for the Hawks. Well, Scanlon's serving did all the damage in the first part of this match. Let's see if she can finish it off. Yes. And here goes Scanlon. Yep. Perfect placement. Absolutely. So game one in the books. At the end of uh, game one, Frontier wins it 25 to 12. The switch ends. Game two coming up. This is Red Hawk Playoff Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Joe Thompson with Chris Collins. Beginning of the second match. Yeah. For uh, the tonight's, tonight's game. Uh, Frontier took game one 25 to 12. And East Hampton's Skylar Raskovitz will start with the service. East Hampton serving left to right to start this second game. And an ace to start things <laughs> off. A rare. Late error there. You know, it. nobody knew it was coming when they all sort of look at each other like, oh, is that yours or mine? <laughs> That's a rare moment for Frontier. Yes, very rare. And here's Raskovitz again. Let's serve. Dean, the dig. And Martino with nice placement over the defenders. Here's Dean. Topolsky oh. cannot get it over. That was a tough angle for Topolsky to try and play that ball. Absolutely. 
Raskiewicz again to serve. And it's over the dig. Polski gets it over. Raskiewicz. Rose Warren. Dean. Martino again gets it over the net. Eagles fighting to recover. Good volley going here. Yeah, very long. And Frontier will take this one. Martino to serve. Very nice serve there by Martino. Here's Gardner over the net, and Martino gets it up, but not over. Wow, I'll tell Point you, that East, Hampton. that East Hampton player came very close to hitting the top of that net, but they're going to say no. And so the Eagles have a 3-1 lead here. It's their first real lead of the, game, of the match so far. Maddie Parrish will serve. Isla with the dig. Dean spikes it. Gardner, no. There you go, Chris. Your daily, uh, your it's game. It's not a game until you get one the ball. ball in the mouth. That's true. That's until you get one ball in the mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine over here. <laughs> and here is Matty Parrish to serve for the Eagles. Isler. Dean with the spike. Yeah, it's a matter of time before Olivia Dean starts taking this game over on the net. They don't really have anybody, I don't think, on East Hampton side of the ball that can hang with her. When she decides to go up to that spike, it's tough to defend it. Yeah, I think that Raskiewicz did a pretty good job of that last set, but um, we'll see. Here's Raskiewicz. And Devine will get it over. Dean with the placement. He's handed, gets it over the net. <laughs> Dean. And that's going to be another score. There you go, Chris. Yeah, I mean, she's she really, I think, is, of all the players on the floor right now, the most talented at the net. And they're going to have to find a way to deal with her. Very true. Here's Isler to serve. Good serve. <laughs> Eagles get it over. Appenel to Rosewarn to Dean and Dean spikes. Raskovitz digs. And Raskovitz can't get it over. Well, you're right. Raskovitz has been the one that's been sort of defending those spikes from Dean the best. And that time she did a good job keeping it in play, but only for a minute. Dean just needs to hit it anywhere but Raskovitz. That's right. There's Isler over the net. And Eagles get it over. With a diving backwards hit, and Dean misses the spike. Yeah, that one just turned off. It was a good set by Rosewarn, but just Dean couldn't quite handle it. No, not quite. Bryce Nelson to serve. Over the net. Abinell with the spike. And Raskowitz again with the dig. Out of bounds. It'll be frontier ball and a point to the Red Hawks. Couple subs checking in for the Red Hawks. Abby Roberts and Sydney Scanlon will come into the game. Hey, Scanlon, she's only a sophomore. Man, she plays like she's a senior. Freshman. Freshman, I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her one more year than she had. Over the net by Scanlon, nice serve. And here's Isla with the dig. Scanlon sets it up for Appenau. Eagles fight to recover. Dean hits it up. Appenau out of bounds. Yeah. A little long, but again. Hit the line judge. <laughs> but some good sets by Rose Warren. Good movement of the ball, just a little long. Yes. 
6'5", East Hampton. And here comes number five, Annika Devine. And Scanlon sets it up. Dean will hit it into the net. Wow. I don't see that very often. No, you don't. Again, will serve. Yeah. It's in. Ooh, just in. I thought that was going long. She got the she got the ace there. Just inside the line. Divine again will serve. Good serve there. Scanlon hits it up. Appenel hits it over and gets the point. Appenel's had some good moments in the net tonight. Yeah, she's been consistently getting it over. Dean to serve. Olivia Dean with the most aces on the team with 56 this season. And she gets it over. Oh. That's one of the reasons why right there. Yikes. Oh, yeah. There's number 57. It's very tough when a ball is coming at you at that kind of velocity and you just try and move it. It's just <laughs> no way to return that. You just got to hope that your uh, hit up and Dean hits it into the net. Now Fournier we're still, will serve. Backwards hit for Roberts. Fournier hits it up. Dean to Scanlon to Martineau. And he's tamped and recovers. Wow. They've done that a couple of times tonight. Appenel can't quite get it over. And it's going to be. It's 10 to 7. East Hampton lead. Didn't quite have the timing on that jump, but I like the way East Hampton's recovered from some good net play by Frontier. Absolutely. He's a serve. Roberts gets it to Martino and Martino gets it over the net. And it'll be Frontier serve once more. The power is getting a little bit handcuffed. Isler comes out and uh, Dulet comes in. There's Apinel with the serve. Nice serve by Apinel. And it'll be an ace. Nine ten here. Happen on the serve once more. Oh, Whoa. great judgment call there. Last second. <laughs> wow, she backed right off. That was pretty, pretty impressive. She's jumped out of the way of that ball, and here is Kaylee Powers with the serve. Dean gets it backwards, and Dulet gets it over. Isler gets it up in the air. Scanlon, Martineau. The Eagles get it over the net. Dulette with the spike. Out of bounds once more. Yep. Didn't quite have the height needed to no, really spike that get ball. Get the right trajectory down right. there. And here is Kaylee Powers once again. Martineau hits it right back. And East Hampton. It's hit over the net. Dulet, Scanlon. Dulet blocked. Martino. And Frontier? Frontier's point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I think it might have been an illegal hit on the net, I think. Frontier gets a point. That's what I know. That's all you know. That's all you got to know. Yeah. Now they are only down by two. All right, here goes Rose Warren with the serve. Nice little serve there by Rose Warren. Eagles, ooh, trick play there. That was a trick play. <laughs> I was not expecting him to do that. A good recovery by Rose Warren, and 
Eagles, ah. Oh. Rose one looked like this couldn't get out of the way of the ball. Yeah, that was tough. She got, really got handcuffed on that one. It was right at, almost at her head. That thing was going out of bounds. I think it was too. That's why I think she'd like to have that one back probably. Most likely. And again, rescue for serve. Nice low serve by Raskovitz. And Dulette will spike Raskovitz. Wow, with a nice hit up. Dean. And again with the judgment call there, they've been calling Dulette spikes. Well, a number of times in the first game, they, let, they, they played a lot of balls that were headed out. I think that they smartened up in, this, in the break between games and said, you know, let's let some of this stuff go. Yeah, I think Molly Jacobson brought her team in and said, hey guys, we got to smarten up. And there goes Dulette, gets her point. Yeah, nice, little, nice little placement by Dulette. Very true. And Martineau to serve, it appears, yes. And out of bounds. Frontier's got to start hitting it lighter. They certainly have uh, hit a lot of balls out of bounds in this game, a lot more than we usually see. Mm. Here's the hit by Mandy Parrish. Dean to Spike. Out again. And East Hampton opens up a big lead. And the coach wants to talk it over. We'll take the break. East Hampton leading in game two, 16-11. This is Red Hot Playoff Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, I'm Joe Thompson. Uh, the Red Hawks are down by five here to start off this after winning the first game. And Maddie Parrish to serve for the Eagles. Dean hits it up. And over the net. And... That will be a frontier point there as Dean gets the nice hit. Isler to serve for the Hawks. And nice little serve there by Isler. And into the net. Frontier with another point. Isler again to serve for the Hawks. one there and the Eagles get it over Dean with the spike and out of bounds ball back with the Eagles Bryce Nelson will serve Dean out. Wow, a lot of long hits in this game for Frontier. Yes. Here's Nelson again. Ooh, Rosewater with a trick play there. Does not work. And spike by East Hampton cannot be returned. Well, it's amazing how quickly the swings are in this particular game. The first game was all frontier, and East Hamptons had much the better of it here in the second game. Certainly, certainly they have. And the East Hampton crowd loving every bit of it. Here's Nelson. Appenel. East Hampton. And Dean to Spike, and she gets it. That was that was the line of fire that you want to have yeah, when you're playing the ball. Rose Warren and Dean, that's been the combination this year, and that time was just perfectly set by Rose Warren and Dean just perfectly executed. It. Yep. For sure. There's Scanlon to serve. Scanlon with a nice serve. And Mishandled by East Hampton. 
Let's see if Sid Scanlon can go on the kind of run she went on in that first part of that first game. Frontier could really use that. It really could at this point. Scanlon again with a nice serve. Dean with a nice hit. Eagles out. Frontier. Another point. Well, that's what, just what the doctor ordered. Frontier now needs to keep pace, needs to keep Scanlon serving. Scanlon. And East Hampton's going to hit it. Oh! Nope. Cannot get it over. And Frontier. Scanlon leading a Frontier comeback here. Scanlon with the service. Beautiful oh. serve. That that's was about, that's about damn as textbook near perfect. Again. I mean, that was absolutely perfect. And East Hampton wants to talk it over as well they should. 19-18 East Hampton with a one-point lead. We'll take the break. This is Red Hawk Volleyball and Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Joe Thompson here. Red Hawks down to trail by one. Uh, Scanlon to serve for the Red Hawks. And East Hampton blocked the net. They recover. And they hit it out of bounds. So just like that, oh. we're tied at 19. That ball's coming back for number two, Chris. That's why I'm hiding over here. <laughs> and uh, Scanlon to serve. Once more. But she's been the star of this game from the service line. Absolutely. I don't think there's really a question there. And who goes to serve? East Hampton. Isler with the dig. Scanlon gets it back. And Isler hits it over. Eagles. They get the point. Nice play. It was a nice play. And more importantly, it takes the ball out of Scanlon's hands, which is what they wanted to do. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hawks got to play some defense here. They're down by one, five points away from match. And Annika Devine will serve. Dean. Uh-oh. And she gets it over. Great hit there. Nope. Not great recovery there by Frontier. East Hampton trying to get their first game win here. And here's the sub. Sullivan comes in for Olivia Simino. And here are the Red Hawks. Dean. Put back up, and East Hampton's gonna hit it over. Sullivan with a dig, and Appen on the spike. Eagles get it over with a beautiful hit, but a beautiful recovery by Isler, and wow, what a recovery by East Hampton, and a mishandle to give the Hawks the point. What a great. turn of events. Some great mid-court play there on both sides of the ball. Absolutely. East Hampton with a couple of big digs to keep the ball alive. I was and at the edge of my seat there, Chris. <laughs> now let's see if Olivia can do some damage here. They're down by one. And Dean with a perfect <laughs> serve. That's why she's got so many of those this year. Absolutely. Dean will take again. Gets it over. He's Hampton with the recovery. And it's out. It's getting interesting. Frontier takes, I believe, their first lead of this game. Correct. 
And timeout East Hampton. We're going to keep it here, though, with uh, about a minute to go until we resume play. So Frontier was down by as many as six in this match, has now come back to take the lead, and they're three points away from going up two in this best of five match. Again, the winner of this game gets the winner of Southwick Lennox. I believe that game is being played tonight. And if Frontier wins, they'll play back here again Wednesday night. So that should be interesting. We'll see if they can, uh, they can hang on and win this game. If they do, it'll be a miracle because East Hampton's had the better of the play. Yeah, that comeback being led by Sydney Scanlon's excellent service and being completed by uh, Liv Dean's excellent service here. Well, again, it, it didn't look very good for Frontier. A lot of balls being hit out of bounds, a lot of balls that ordinarily might hug the line just haven't been. But we'll see if uh, Olivia can keep it going here. And Dean to serve. Very nice serve. Eagle scrambling to recover, nope. and they hit it out. And Frontier wising up to those, those out-of-bounds hits. Giving East Hampton a taste of their own medicine here. Correct. Dean with the service. Totally handcuffed on that one. And game point, believe it or not. The Hawks fighting their way back into this one. And Dean with a chance to deliver a kill shot here. Up and Appenall's going to hit it over. And East Hampton will not recover. Game. Red Hawks take a 2 0 lead. And Where's we will it? take yep. a break here. Uh, final score 25 21. Red Hawks on top. Chris Collins, Joe Thompson, Alex Engel, Kevin Murphy, and Megan Self back here at Goodnow Gymnasium. Frontier. After looking like they were going to lose game two, comes back and wins game two by a count of 25 to 21 with some key service eight down the stretch by Sid Scanlon and by Olivia Dean. So Frontier is 25 points away from advancing to the semifinals. If that happens, it'll happen here Wednesday night against the winner of Southwick and Lennox. And Frontier, I believe, will get the ball to start this game. Frontier football, also by the way, is in playoff action later this week. They're going to be in Chicopee at Zop Park against the Chicopee Pacers, a team they lost to the previous week. And a game that they'll get a chance to get a measure of revenge on as they're seeded third. And Chicopee is seeded second. That game is Friday night at Zop Park. Quick, slow serve, returned by East Hampton. Isler to Rose Warren. The spike, actually, not even a spike, just a little Beautiful tip over. Tap. That's all it was. Olivia Dean gets the point, 1-0 Frontier. It's all about the placement, Chris. That's what it is. And a good player knows when to use the spike and when to use the tip. At that time, Olivia used the tip. Sullivan to serve. Deep serve. Hits the top of the support. And they're going to be able to return it, though. Rose won the set. Appadel the tip over. Still in play. Battle at the net. Still alive. Dean sends it back over. And East Hampton is able to return it. Good volley going here. Rose won the set. Dean the spike. Bang. Good dig, though. Kept what alive by there. East Hampton. Still in play. Sullivan. Dean to return. And nice dig there. Quick set. Hampton. Spike. And into the net. Point frontier. 2 nothing. Hawks. And Sullivan to serve again. Yeah. Out of serve there. Yeah. Not too long. So Frontier yields the point, and it's going to be Skyler Raskovitz, the sophomore, for East Hampton to serve. So a good game in the midcourt and for the service line. 
Good low serve Beautiful is there to dig. Rose Warren, Appenel, still in play. Sent back over. Appenel. Dean with the set from Rose Warren. Point. Nice. 3 1 Hawks, and it's going to be Riley Isler to serve. I'm sorry, that was Dulet. Excuse me, that was Dulet with the play. Good point. Uh, Isler to serve. Yeah. Into the net. Oh, shit. Hit Olivia Dean in the back of the head. That's not going to work. <laughs> Maddie Parrish, number two, the junior. Or he stepped in to serve. Trailing 3 2. Is there with the dig? Rose Warren set to Dean. Spike returned by East Hampton. The dig by Sullivan. Ooh, wow. Back what a by Isler. And points going to go to East Hampton. But great hustle there by Ray Isler. She came all the way across court to get that and just couldn't Really excellent that. effort. 3 3 is the score. Paris to serve again. Out. Out of bounds. Both teams have grown accustomed to the fact that neither of them are hitting it into the bounds very well. Good point. Uh, who do we got coming in? We got a couple of subs coming into the game. Scanlon coming in. Yeah. And Serving hero. Yeah. Sid's going to serve. She's had a great game so far. Scanlon, the freshman. The low serve again. Nice point. What a spike, though. That was Annika Devine, the senior, at the net for East Hampton. Ties the game at four. Bryce Nelson. The serve for the Eagles. Sullivan. To Scanlon. Happen out. out of bounds. 5 4, East Hampton. Takes the lead back. Isler. Set to Scanlon. Happen out. The spike. spike. Kept in play. And he's looking nice. Scanlon. The Dean. Dean. Boom. That's that spike that's completely unstoppable. It this. really is. And she gets the right angle and the right height. Almost un impossible to return. Tied at five. And Olivia will serve now. Good serve. No serve. Into the point. Net. East Hampton would do well to break this service if they could. You would not let the ball in her hands for too long, and this is going to end quickly. It's true. Chris would like that. <laughs> good low serve. Good dig. Sit back over. Out. I could even see from here that that was going to go. 7-5 <laughs> Frontier. Dean to put it in play again. Again, the Hawks lead two games to none. They can finish it off with a win here. And that one's going to go long. 7-6. And it's going to be Annika Devine to serve for East Hampton. Lefty server. This little. Tipped over. Nicely done. Ooh, another nice play at the net. Epidol tips it. Scanlon the set, the spike. Nice spike. Good wow. dig, still alive. That was. Scanlon the set. Tipped over by Sullivan. Oh my goodness. Great job to keep it alive by East Hampton. That was Hampton. incredible. Sullivan with ah, the tip. Can't do it for the third time in a row. Now, you only get so many bites for that happen, but some great play by East Hampton to keep that ball alive. They are fighting. They, they are. Taking in screaming. Trying to stay in it. Appenel to serve for the Hawks, leading 8-6. Tough serve, hard low serve. Tip back over, point. 
At the neck, that was Kaylee Powers made that play. Eight to seven. Good serve. Scanlon the set. Spike, beautiful. That was Sullivan again. 9-7 Frontier as they went back to service. A couple of quick subs, and it's going to be Rose Warren to serve for the Hawks. Slow serve by Rose Warren. Set, sent back over. Isler, the dig to Rose Warren. The Boom. spike. Oh, nice save. Kept in play. Goulette to Rose Warren. Back to Goulette. Nice over. 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 Goulette staying with it. Goulette Ooh. spiked. Ooh. Could not quite clear the net. Rejected by the net. 9 8. Frontier, but the service goes to East Hampton. It'll be Powers again. <coughs> Sullivan to Rose Warren. Goulette sends it back over. Goulette, Isler. Returned by Sullivan. Set at the net. Dean with the dig. To Rose Warren. Beautiful point. tip by Sullivan. Nice team wow. right there. 10 to 8. Frontier gets the serve back. It'll be Jalen to serve it for Frontier. Can they, can they put it back in play? They do. Just barely. Just. Rose Warren. Set Ooh. Spike Dean. Oh. Good dig. Puts oh, the, hits no. the support. Able to return. Sullivan. Rose Warren to Dean Ooh. again. Oh, Good my. dig. Still alive. Rose Warren. Tapping out. Ah. Very tenacious play by East Hampton to keep that ball in play. Yes. Good spikes. Good defense. Oh, Skyler Raskovitz, the sophomore to serve. Nice low serve. Dean to Rose Warren. Backwards. The let point. That was the tricky backwards uh, set <laughs> there. Yes, it was. I was confused. Riley Isler to serve. 11-9 Frontier. Set, spike, yeah. 12-9 Frontier. I wonder if someone ever tries to hit it like into the Wait a second, oh, no. the point, the point to East Hampton, I thought that was a Frontier point, but it wasn't. They got it over. Yep. So it's East Hampton ball. Nice serve. Sullivan to Rose Warren. Dean the spike. The dig again. Into the curtain. Into the curtain again. It's going to be East Hampton. Whose point was it? Let's watch the scoreboard. Oh, it's Frontier Board. I wasn't sure, but yep. Don't the referees aren't quite sure either. I think. They're arguing. Well, the scoreboard people are. <laughs> Just Scan listen to them. Scanlon's got the ball. So it's going to be Frontier's point. 12-10. Frontier to serve. Nice. Ace. Beautiful service. I would say Scanlon's been the star of the game so far just from the service line. 13-10 Frontier. Scanlon the dig to Isler. Turned by Frontier. Tampanero will send it over. Isler, Scanlon to Appenel. Kept alive by the Eagles. Appenel, Scanlon. And point Frontier. It was the backwards, it was the backwards set, Chris. Yep. 
just getting it over there was Topolsky. 14-10 Frontier. Scanlon. A tough serve. Hit the pole. Point Frontier. Again, it's Scanlon that's doing the damage from the service line. We'll take the break. Timeout. Frontier. 10 points away from a sweep. Frontier 15. East Hampton 10. This is Red Hot Volleyball. Frontier Chris Collins, Joe Thompson, Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional School Sports, Kevin Murphy. This is the quarterfinals of the Western Mass Division III tournament. And the Frontier Red Hawks are very close to a straight set win over East Hampton. Beautiful. Ah, point by Apatow. She can just kind of go up on her tippy toes and just smack it down. Got that height. She does. So Scanlon continues to be a problem from the service line for East Hampton. Low knuckle serve, ace. Can't quite get a hit there. 17 10. Tough little tantalizing low serve. Spike. Out of bounds. Nope. Oh, inbounds. It just landed in. I don't know how to do the flag signal. It's tough. Well, that, and that looked like it was going out, but it just caught the inside of the line. And that's a big point for East Hampton. Gets the ball out of Scanlon's hands. And Bryce Nelson will serve for East Hampton. Trying to get him back in the game here. Sullivan to Scanlon. This time hit Rare there. mishap. Yeah, you don't see that very often. It's only about the third time today. 17-12. East Hampton with the serve. Isler. Scanlon with the set. Spike. Still alive. Up and out. To Scanlon. Topolsky returns it. Good spike at the net. That was uh, Annika Devine. She really put topspin on it though. She wasn't above the net when she hit it. She kind of just hit it so it went Correct. down. Yep. But, it very but it went up first. It was very nicely played. That yeah, was. For sure. Nelson to serve again. Dean to Scanlon. Back to Dean. Sends it back over. The tip. Is that keeps it alive. Scanlon to Dean. Little Please loop tip over. There you go. Again, doesn't always have to be about power. Right. It's about placement that time. That breaks the serve. Gives the ball to Dean. 18-13 Frontier. Seven away from the sweep. Ace. Yikes. Maddie Parrish, lucky to get a, even get a hand on that ball. <laughs> the next one's coming for you, Chris. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hide over here. Dean with the serve again. Another good one. Very Low and nice. hard. Still alive. Nope. Get into the net. Just for a second. 2013. Frontier by seven. The ace queen. With the serve. The queen of aces. I think that's in. That's in. All right, I got the flag signal right that Boy. time. Let's see how this works itself out. Dean to serve again. And then we call timeout. Timeout time out of the floor. We'll take the break. Frontier four away from a sweep. Red Hawks 21. East Hampton 13. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Olivia Dean with the serve. Frontier with the lead. Up two games and looking to close that out in straight sets on their home floor. Ball returned by East Hampton. Isler to Scanlon. And for Topolsky. Good day kept in play by the Eagles. Returned over. 
Scanlon with the set, the spike point. Nice spike there. And that was Appadel again. 22-13. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful serve. Aceru again, 23-13. Quick substitution by Coach McDonald. So Gotchak will come in. Gotchak's going to serve, and Olivia's going to come out. Nice Good serve by serve. Tia. That's going to be an ace. an ace. Match point upcoming for Frontier. 24 13. Tia Gotchak to send it over. For the Hawks. The dig. Set. And point. The celebration will have to wait. 24 14. Frontier. Or East Hampton, rather, with the service. And it's going to be Annika Devine trying to extend the evil season. Chuck to Scanlon. Gets it over. Sent oh. back over. Can East Hampton return it? No. No. That'll be it. Game over. Point match to Frontier. The Red Hawks advance to the semifinals Wednesday night here against the winner of Southwick Lennox. Game one goes to Frontier 25 12. Game two goes to Frontier. 25-21, and game three goes to Frontier, 25-14, second set. Their broadcast partner, Joe Thompson, and four. Alan Gekko, Megan Self, and Kevin Murphy. This is Chris Collins. Frontier wins at 3-0. See you Wednesday. Congratulations to the Red Hawks. Good season, East Hampton, as Frontier moves on to the semifinals. Thanks for watching. Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television.